So we need two new content types, one to hold information about the services and one to hold the banner image on the front page as well as the words Professional Gardener John Doe. Why are we creating content types? Well, that's really part of the site building class. But once the data we structure is collected, we'll be able to access, we'll be able to create views to control exactly how the site visitors see the information. And that's important. So we really need a content type. Additionally, upkeep is just so much easier for site administrators. Sure, we could make all of this in custom blocks, but then really makes it a lot harder. Go to structure, content types, and add content type. And let's call it services. In the description, use this content type to describe new services available to clients. Let's go ahead and turn off promoted to the home page because we don't need that. Let's turn off display author and date information and in the menu settings uncheck all the menus and this is actually something I do on every single content type I ever build. I don't want content editors adding individual nodes to menus. Click save and manage fields. Let's change the label of the body field to description of services and make it required and save settings. Let's click add field and let's add an image field. Click on the add new field and find image and let's call this service image. Click save field settings and in the help text it's always good an image or logo representing the service. Let's make it required. And for the file directory, let's change that to service images. So it's required. File directory service images. And we won't worry about the maximum minimum resolution at this point. Click Save Settings. You should now see two fields, the body field and the field underscore service underscore image. Let's manage the display, shall we? Click on Manage Display, click on Teaser, and let's drag the links below to Disabled. And let's drag Service Image to the top. And of course, we can hide the label. Let's update the description of our services. Click on the cog. And let's change our trim limit to 200 characters instead of 600. All right, let's update the service image, change the format to an image, click Save, and click on the gear, and let's configure an image style here. Click Configure Image Styles, and let's create an image style by adding one, and we'll call this EG grid image, create new style, and let's add a new effect of scale, click add, and we'll scale this to 300 by 150. We'll never allow upscaling, click add effect. Now one of the things I often do with these kinds of image styles is I actually put the scale into the name so I don't forget don't have to update the machine name but updating the style name that will be helpful click update style and then let's head back to managing the display for our teaser and change that to our new style of EG grid image go ahead and link that to the content and click update so your teaser mode should now look like trimmed 200 characters and the service image of 300 by 150 with both labels hidden. Go ahead and click Save. It's always a good idea to click Save many times. And so we've got our content type. In the next video, we'll create the banner content type.